now I'd like to introduce Brian Nuskowski to the stage, security engineer from Cruise Automation, to share a little bit more about their use case for Vault. Good job. Thank you. Morning, everyone. How are you doing today? Uh, my name is Brian Nuskowski. I'm a security engineer at Cruise Automation here in San Francisco. Um, how many of you want to be able to drive a car and not actually drive the car? <laughs> like maybe read a book or eat a burrito or whatever other things you want to do, maybe even sleep or work. Um, so that's what we're working on at Cruise Automation. So kind of we call it the driverless revolution of autonomous vehicles. And as a security engineer, you can imagine it's pretty difficult to try to secure something like an autonomous vehicle, which is really kind of a, a hard project to solve. Um, and so we kind of have three core problems we're looking to solve in the security of, of, of our AVs. One is kind of like the generic standard secret delivery, obviously. Everyone has this problem. How do I get secrets from point A to point B? The next problem is, well, if I'm going to get those secrets from point A to point B, uh, how am I going to do that? How do I authenticate this thing that is essentially a robot? It's no longer a computer or a web app. So how do we kind of shift to our thinking of we authenticate traditional things, now it's this thing that's out in the real world, and we have to prove that it is who it says it is. And lastly, how do we make sure that this vehicle is talking to other services that it really is required to talk to in order to properly operate and function and do things like take you where you want to go? So in trying to solve this solution, uh, we essentially chose Vault to do that. And for standard secret delivery, you can imagine we just use kind of wherever possible we leverage the secret engines that uh, Hashi uh, Corp delivers to us. And for more complicated things like uh, maybe component or vehicle authentication, we use a combination of uh, public key infrastructure primitives and a lot of custom plugin development. And lastly, now that maybe this thing is able to authenticate, get secrets, now it's got to talk to other stuff, we thought, well, since we already have Vault in our ecosystem across other applications, why don't we use it as kind of the central uh, message broker? So for that, we used uh, a lot of interesting Sentinel, which I'm sure you'll hear more about today. So um, I have a talk this afternoon covering some more of these topics in detail. If you're really interested in this and want to learn more, uh, please come check it out. And thanks for, thanks for listening. Thank you.